All right, welcome back. I've finished unopen everything, and on this table here we have the motor. It came with uh, three bolts. I'm not really sure why that, but I'm probably going to going to get some more of those. But other than that, uh, this top left hand side of this desk here is all the parts that came in the EV drives kit that I purchased. I did buy this fuse holder separately, but everything else, including the fuse in there, came with the kit. I purchased these uh, lugs here separately, uh, just because I figured I'm going to need them. I ordered this wire from them. They actually seem to be the cheapest supplier of wire and heat shrink, so uh, that was why we went with them. Now for everything else, I have purchased a mounting plate for this go-kart and for any generic E-Tech standard size motor. It should fit the bolt pattern over there and it'll mount right up on there and then you can attach this to the, the slide plate here to where the engine would have sat in a go-kart. I ordered some sprockets here. These are uh, hardened steel uh, one inch bore with 35 tooth chain sprockets. Uh, I think it's a 16 and 18 tooth and I have an emergency on off switch here for uh, just I guess supplying power to the entire piece when I'm done with it. I decided to go with my same, uh, it's a 36 volt charger slot, but uh, it actually seems to work perfectly for this because I'm only putting 5 amps through it. This is a uh, charger slot for I guess any standard golf cart. I got a reverse switch from the EasyGo golf cart. I'm going to try to figure out how to wire that in later once I get a reverse solenoid in. I have a DC to DC uh, down converter. So right here, this is going to take my 48 to 50 volt power supply and put it down to 12 volts so I can run the headlights or anything else I want to run on the go-kart. I have 35 chain here, 4 feet of it. And I have a chain disassembler, basically. It will allow me to adjust the chain size to exactly what I need. And over here, I have two 24 volt Chevy high Chevy Volt uh, batteries and I have them wired into a BMS unit that I've gotten from AliExpress and I had actually tested it once before on that lawnmower back here and it worked perfectly when that battery gets to full there's a strip of LEDs uh, right here that will turn blue and each cell will eliminate whether or not it is fully charged or not given a few days after uh, sitting, the unit will eventually charge each cell correctly. They'll all balance each other basically. And I'm just going to use my standard charger I had from the original build. I think it's a 5 to 6 amp electric rider charger. And I've actually looked up online. This website no longer exists, but you can find these chargers all over the place. It just needs to detect that it is putting out 50.4 volts nominal, or not nominal, max, because that's what these uh, batteries are. Nominal, I think they're 44, but the point is, uh, yeah, and this makeshift charger is getting it ready so when I get this go-kart ready to go, I can just hopefully plug it in and go and test everything out. All right, once again, I will start getting those wires ready and getting a little test bench here going to make sure everything works.